All right, all right, all right. Come on, come on, come on. Welcome, brothers and sisters. You're listening to the TMA Radio Broadcast. I'm your host, Pastor Aquajet. We are just getting started on Midweek Praise. To, uh, excuse me, Midweek Praise. Mm. Tongue tied. <laughs> hey, Midweek Praise is every Wednesday night between 8 and 9 o'clock. But we just kicking it up live. And we want to thank each and every one that's tuned in tonight. We want you to, hey, get them, hams, them hands ready. And, and let's get the feet ready and let us praise the Lord tonight a little bit. All right? Is that all right? Come on. We start out with Jesus. We'll work it out. Come on. Come on. This is Midweek Praise on the best gospel, the best praise talk show in America. The GMA Radio Show. And we'll be back. But we're going to we're gonna jam a little bit. We're going to just give God some glory and praise at the beginning because I, he woke us up this morning to a brand new day. And we are in a new season. Hallelujah. We Thank God what he done for over 2016 and 2015 and 2014. And matter of fact, I'm glad what he did in 1999. Woo! Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. All right, we're going to give God the praise. Come on. Come on. Jesus will work it out. What, 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 what? Work it out.
Yes, sir. I believe that somebody's listening out there right now tonight and know that Jesus will work it out. Amen. He continue to work it out on our behalf. He continue to to go to God, amen, on our behalf, on our behalf, interceding for us each and every day for our mistakes, our problems, our sin. We just bless God tonight for his son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Amen. Welcome tonight to Midweek Praise. Amen. We're just so excited. We want you to share your praise report. If y'all listening to me live right now, I know somebody listening got a praise report that they can instant message me. Or if you want to call up the show and tell it on the, on the radio live, is fine with me tonight. You can hit me up, 919-521-4741. But we're going to be going to the Word here in a minute. So we want you to know that we're here to praise God tonight because we look over our life and just God has been so good. Even when we want good to our own self, He continue to be good. Amen. Amen. We just bless Him tonight. We're just so excited about the many things that's coming up in this year. And we got a lot of stuff going. We got a lot of stuff going to be coming in the summer so we just got to get busy we got to we got to get busy and i'm telling you right now i'm on fire i'm ready i'm so ready and eager you know i'm on hey we're going out of the communities we're going everywhere we've already been doing that with the men's conference we've been doing that with with the uh watch night service we've been we've been going out amen amen especially here in lewisburg where there's such a stronghold amen against the brothers and sisters that keep them shackled and bound but but we got to keep praying and pilling away at that thing because eventually it's gonna break because guess what because we stayed faithful we stayed on the journey we stayed on the mission and and those, those things, those strongholds in people's lives going to be torn down. But so many times, you know, uh, uh, we, we we start to see that power coming back. We starting to see things change because, you know, tradition has really stunted the growth of 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 of. of of kingdom building is so long that that you know uh, uh, people have gotten weak. You know, got watered down. You know, people don't want to go with the, with the, what the words say. They want to go with what pleases people and make them feel good because there ain't no way in the world a person could just jump and shout just when music on. And then when the word come, you can't never say, you don't even say amen. You can't even testify. You won't even see, you can't even stand up to something that's true from the word. But as soon as the music hit, boy, you you break your neck to get out that seat. You run, run on top of somebody and sit beside you, knocking their hat off their head to get up and praise God. But when the word come and, and come down your lane, you, you, you can't say nothing. You don't even praise the Lord. But we want to praise the Lord tonight on this uh, radio broadcast because God has been good to each and every one of us. And, you know, we still, amen, have to keep on believing and trusting in God We got regardless of what it looks like. Because, you know what, we're all right right now. But what when the test come, will we pass it? You know, when, when I, you know, if something, well, I'm faced with stuff. I actually was faced with st uh, stuff on uh, this week. You know, and I'm telling you right now, you come off, you coming on from a, a, a time of getting on your knees and, and a time and heck them that, that old spirit. Here they come, their old spirit. But you know what? I thank God that for class. I thank God for not even dealing with it. I'm not going to deal with it. I told y'all I'm not going to deal with it. Y'all don't, y'all don't deal with it either. But we, we bless God tonight on this show. Uh, uh we're going to play one more song and then we're going to talk about some things tonight because you know. People got to realize that, you know, we, we have to go into discussion sometime and, and, and get to uh, some root of things in people's lives. You know, what what make what makes us uh, uh, tick and what makes us do some of the things or uh, uh, what makes our mind uh, uh, go in the direction it's going in. You know, uh, uh, so so this is what some of the stuff we want to talk about tonight is, is what makes us so dis dysfunctional at times and it don't mean that you crazy it don't mean that you need to be in holly hill or dorothy or dix or someplace like that but but what makes us what makes our <laughs> what makes us so dysfunctional at times you know what makes us that way what makes us so confused what what makes us the way we are at times but when we when, you know some people say i just want myself today well who were you <laughs> what person were you what do you got another name uh so so uh, uh we want to hit some of that tonight uh what what makes us so dysfunctional at times you know and, and are we are we too busy trying to get ahead is that something that's making you dysfunctional you 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 instead of really taking time to really think you know you're so busy trying to get ahead is that making you dysfunctional? Uh, uh, so I'm gonna, that's some of the few things, and we got a little bit to talk about tonight, and we're going to talk about what the scripture is saying to us tonight, and we're going to be right back, so stay tuned and keep listening.
Man, I love hear your voice. I love to hear your voice. Do, do you do you hear your voice? Do we hear? Do you hear his voice? <laughs> hey Amen. Do you hear his voice talking to you, telling you to slow down, telling you to take time out, do things right? Hey, but tonight on Midweek Praise, uh, uh, what makes us so dysfunctional at times? You know, we can get in a in a uproar. Uh, 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 mind just got a hundred million things, and and ain't nothing uh, uh, complete. We don't we don't complete Simon A B nor C. But are we too busy trying to get ahead? Is is that what's blocking us from really seeing uh, our visions clearly or or completing tasks? Uh, we too busy. We got to do this. Got to do that. You know, you you always what you always got your mind doing other stuff to get ahead, and that's that's probably ninety something percent of, of of people in America. Their only task they want to get ahead, and they get so busy and they lose focus, and their their mind is on all the stuff that they trying to pay for and get ahead and. They become dysfunctional at times. Is that some of the stuff we too busy trying to get ahead? No. Do we start and stop? Do we start and stop projects and goals or daily plans? Uh, 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 do do we do these things or the daily plans? And you know, in our life, have, have we really took time to see what really need 
that what we really need to do in our daily life. Have we have we took time really to sit back and see what we really need to do in our daily life? Or we continue to to, to stop and go. You start on one project and, you, and your mind think of something else, and you start on something else. So you don't stop that to start on something else, and, and then you 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 had some goals, but you you try to you try to uh, uh, prioritize, but then something happened, and, and, and you you started that goal, and then next month you you did you didn't complete it, and so you're starting something else. It, it, you know, have we really? It took time to see what we really need to do in our life, in our daily life. Have, have we took the time to just sit back and just take the time to think? You know, have your mind ever been confused on what to do next? You know, that, that's talking to somebody that that speaks volume because because uh, uh, people it, it, it's like ants right now as they all over the place. They don't know what's going to happen. They, you know, this new president's uh, 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 elect coming in and, and they don't know what's going to happen. They just all in a wreck, but they don't take time to just think. And that's why, you know, we got to start doing in our life you know and you can have whatever you want but you got to understand this it, you don't ask for nothing that's that that's going to hurt you or hinder you because you know what the god already know your spirit he already know your heart so so uh he ain't going to give you nothing he wants you to kill yourself with you understand that all right so so here uh I want to just say you know have your mind ever been confused on what to do next? Uh, uh, somebody ought to ask, uh, you can ask yourself that. Have Have I ever been confused on what to do next? Yeah, sometimes you get like that. that. And you know why you get like that? Because you're so busy trying to do everything you think of. You, you hadn't wrote them down and you had not put them in an order to complete one task at a time. But you got five things down and you're trying to do all five things at one time. And you don't get nothing done. Just like cleaning up a house. You know, I'm going to tell you a story. See, I, I, I I used to, uh, you know, when I used to clean up on the weekend, I'm going to tell you what I used to do. I start off in the bedroom and then I won't even finish the bedroom. I'm going in the kitchen. I'm doing stuff in the kitchen. Then I go in the living room. I, I'm doing stuff in the living room. Then I go back to the bedroom. I, I do more stuff in the bedroom. I go back and it take me all day long. And it seemed like I ain't never going to complete and get this house like I need it because I'm everywhere. I'm all over the place. I'm, I mean, you know, have you ever thought? And then the, then the thought came to me. <laughs> my, my, my mind began. I had to, I had to think for a minute. I'm, re I'm running from room to room trying to do a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there. And it was taking me so much longer to do. Then I had a thought. The light bulb came on. I said, you know what? I need to just do one room at a time. So if I said, look, I'm going to start in my bedroom. I'm going to clean everything in my bedroom. I'm, I'm made down. I'm going to get my counters wiped down. I'm going to clean the commode. I'm going to wash the uh, tub out. I'm going to sweep and mop the floor. I'm going to vacuum the carpet. I'm going to make the bed. I'm going I'm to do everything I need to do. Put the weight clothes. Everything I need to do in the bedroom, I'm going to do it. Then when I finish that, I'm going to go to the kitchen and I'm, I'm going to make sure everything is in, in its proper place. And if it, uh, to wash the dishes. I'm going to get the dishes up and I'm going to clean the sink out and I'm going to take the trash out and then I'm going to mop the sweep the uh, floor, wipe the table down and then I'm going to skip over in the living room and then I'm going to vacuum over there. See that 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 right there when you complete then it, 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 I'm, I'm trying to tell you I'll I tell you what the time to do that was so much uh, less than the time running all over the house and, and, and like start, <laughs> start about 10 o'clock and it's, it's way in the evening time you still cleaning up because you eat all over the place and I know somebody probably listening laughing right now because they done been all over the place too. You washing clothes, you 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 mopping the floor, you you in this room, you got the mop, you got the mop bucket in the kitchen and you got you got rags and stuff in the tub and you all over the place. But you, we just have to take time to think. And, and that's what we want to talk about tonight. It, it, see, that sometimes make our minds so dysfunctional because uh, we can't think straight. It's not saying that when I use the word dysfunctional, it's not meaning that you're crazy, that you got a, a, a mind problem. It's just that we are dysfunctional in getting things in order uh, 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 to prioritize or to, to set things up in goals. You know, this is some of the stuff that, that we see and that we're dealing with. You know, if, if we allow, if we allow our thoughts of mine to go rapid. Listen, 
we become unstable. You, you know that because you know it's just like it's just like uh uh, uh uh you the last minute, but you you supposed to be cooking stuff for the church, and you last minute getting the groceries, you last minute getting, and then you don't forget stuff. You got to go back to the stores to get what you don't forget because you ain't wrote nothing down, and, and you so busy, you got so much on your mind. Then you go back home, you trying to hurry up, and you so tired, and and now you got you forgot that the the uh turn the turn the dry on because what you wanted to wear is in the dryer. Come on, and now you just oh your mind. I tore up from the floor up. You said, Scott, you all over the place. So that's what happens sometimes. You know, we got to realize that and, and, and our mind, uh, hey man, we, we got to slow our mind down. <laughs> Say, wait a minute now. Let me, hold up. Let me just take a deep breath. Let me just sit back. Because, you know, and, and, and so I'm going somewhere with this tonight because we got to realize that that, that, that our mind can wonder. That that thing, our mind is like a machine. That that thing go on, it'll go, it'll go, it's going even in our sleep. <laughs> amen, amen. Even when we sleep, our mind is going. Amen, amen. You might not be aware of it, but it's still operating. Amen, amen. You know, and so uh, uh, here I want to uh if this sounds, uh, if this sounds like something down your road, then look. Then this is what we we need to do. Uh, uh, one, we need to we need to first take a time to say stop. We need to prioritize our life and our life plans. See, uh, 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 what what is what do I need? First of all, I need to find out what is what is my purpose in this in this world. You know, what is my purpose, and and and, and what what do I need to be doing today? Because a lot of times you don't even know what you be, need to be doing today. So, so if if you are so busy, you can't hear from the from the spirit of God to, to talk to you and tell you what you need to do. And that's why I'm going tonight because we we, we get so busy, we don't prioritize our life, and we, we everybody just living so fast. We everything in 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 today's society is much faster than the seventies and the eighties, sixties and the fifties. Everything in this life right now is, is so fast. It, everything's so fast forward. Amen. Amen. And, and so uh uh. And, you know, we need to take time out. And one of our callers tonight, amen, amen, made a comment tonight. Add into the conversation. We are, we are so, uh, we are dysfunctional because we need to be delivered. Amen. That That's what we, that's what we, that's what we at. Amen. We need to be delivered because, you know, deliverance carry a lot of different things. It, 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 it helps the whole body. It's just like, you know, whatever. Amen. Yo, your body can't live without its heart. In your, how many hearts you got in your body? You got one heart that that controls and help function everything in your body. But without the heart, you cannot live. Without without deliverance, man, it, it tears our whole body all to pieces. You understand that? Man, that's that, that's deep right there. That's 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 serious. Amen. You know because uh, like I said, you 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 stop your heart stop. You gone. Amen. You gone. So when deliverance stop, you might well say you gone. Because deliverance help every part of your spiritual body. Your walk, your talk, your actions, how you see things. Amen. Because if you ain't delivered, you can't see things clear. You you ain't looking straight. You can't see. You looking all over the place. And that's why you can't I put your eyes on stuff that that ain't real uh, uh but just like just like jury you know you can go to a store you know you can tell fake jury from the from the real jury because you're just looking at that but if you're looking at everything in the case at one time you don't know what's real or not amen amen so so we got to realize that and and, and so here it's a, uh some people think that uh they can call that they are called to do many things Amen. Amen. Because, you know, we, 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 God has blessed us with many talents, and, but, but there are some with few and some with many. But then at, at the same time, uh, a, a pastor can't, can't do everything of himself. Amen. We need some help. You know, that's why we have, that's why we have people in, in ministry. You have a secretary, you, you have a treasurer, you have everything in place. We can't do it all. And so, so everybody got to be effective in in their uh in in their in their in the thing that that God gives them that that one thing that He gives them, Amen. He He gives each of us a, a different calling, Amen, Amen. It's you know just like just like us in the, in in the in the world society today, you know now everybody can't cut no hair, 
Just like, just like everybody ain't made to be doctors and nurses. You know, everybody got their own part. Even the mortician. Everybody don't want. Everybody, everybody don't want. A lot of people don't want to bury the dead. But they, they but they are, are called and, and crafted and, and and gifted in their and their calling and, and and they calling to 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 lay people to rest and, and every ain't a job that everybody want to do. So there are some that's 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 designed to do that. There's others designed to to deliver the message. Amen. Because, you know, some people say, oh, well, you know, I don't need no preacher. Well, you know what? If, if it was so that the world didn't need men and women of God to tell you the truth about the word, we would just live like hell everybody. Because, it, you know, because when we was there in so much mess, how come we didn't get out ourselves? You know, if, if we could do everything ourselves, you know, it wouldn't be no need for Jesus. But it was it was so. And so so going back to what I'm talking about tonight is. Is that if this sounds like something down your road, uh, 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 and then then this is what we need to do. We need to prioritize in in, in our life. And the first thing we need to do, listen now, very careful, careful. The first thing we need to do is make God the center of our life. Amen, amen. We need to make God the center of our life. You know that, and, and without God. Everything will fail. Do y'all not understand that in the Bible that everybody that, that thought that they could do more without God fail? Destruction happened everywhere. People, generation were cut off. Kid, children uh, 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 killed and, and, and bloodlines descended because of wickedness. Do y'all not realize that? But when you was in, in the will of God, man, look at all the blessings that happened. You know, your generation gonna be blessed. They generation gonna be blessed. Look, look at that stuff, huh? Okay, so so talking about tonight, let's go to Genesis twelve and one tonight. And I just wanna talk real quickly. And, and another caller uh, said the the mind is the battleground. That's right, the mind is the battleground. You know, uh, 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 because you know we wrestle with good and evil all the all the day. You know, but we we pray to God that that His Holy Spirit outweigh. That that evilness that lie within us. Don't tell nobody. So, look, what make you what make you get real mad real quick? Somebody somebody do something. And don't let now. I'm gonna tell you right now. I, I know I know I'm delivered to say, but don't treat my 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 wife wrong and don't put your hands on us. Amen, amen. Because I'm, I'm saying right now, God ain't made me crazy. You know, God, you know, somebody want to hurt my children. I just stand there and just pray. And I'm just saying, well, Lord, you, I know he's going to take care of it. No, look, God give me something to protect my children. Amen. And my wife, somebody trying to harm them, they life in danger. And I'm sitting back, uh, just going to, you know, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to, no, we got to have some common sense too. Amen. You know, everything. <laughs> some people get so deep and they say, well, you know, we supposed to just pray about it. Well, I'm, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray that, 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 that uh, I don't put half them persons in the ground. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But but here, you know, the, the, the man of God, uh, another caller said that the mind is uh, the battleground. It is. You know, we got to fight. You know, when people people talk to us in a kind of way, but we got to think for a minute before we say something. I know I do. Let's be real with it. Because I might I might have my, my expression, my, my eyebrows, everything might be turned upside down. But I don't speak a word because guess what? Uh, I'm trying to rebuke myself from saying something out of the ordinary. I, I got to rebuke myself. Lord, forgive me for my thought. Lord, just help this situation and let him turn, turn it around. And, and matter of fact, if I'm standing there and, and I got and I got rights to leave, I'm going to leave. Amen. I ain't, got, I ain't got to listen to it. I ain't got to listen to it. I ain't got to be a part of it. Amen. Somebody. Hallelujah. But here, Genesis 12 and 1. And I like this about... Uh, uh, this is tying in tonight because you know we we are in a, in in an uproar with with our mind at times. We got so much things on our mind. We and one and one we need to really think about deliverance and and, and and being set free from all this stuff that come in our mind. Amen, amen. Because guess what? By us being delivered, we 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 eliminate a lot of junk that we ha used to have when we won't deliver. So, so as much stuff as I can, can, can get exited out as much stuff I can, I can, I can get removed from my mind. Boy, I tell you right now that load it lighten up. Amen. We want to, we want to lighten the load of the mind. Amen. Amen. We want to lighten the load up of the mind. We want to lighten that load. Take, take some stress stuff off. Amen. Amen. 
<laughs> Amen, preacher. Amen. Don't, but put your hand on. I, I'm telling you right now. I'm gonna be. Hey, y'all see? Y'all see the side that I'm? I've been praying against and fighting against and warring against. <laughs> Amen. I can be smiling, y'all. You know, I can be loving. And don't you know? I'm be one that don't have this old dark, dark, this old deep voice. You know, you got some people out there. They voice sounds so hard, boy. They seem like they they voice scare you. I'm, I just don't. You know, God didn't it, it didn't put me with a with an old deep voice. So, but I, but I tell you what, don't 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 try me. <laughs> I smile and laugh, but but there is another side. But I thank God, Amen, for 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 uh, His Spirit that keeps that other side. Uh, under subjection, amen, under subjection, amen. Listen here real quickly, turn with me in, in your Bibles, uh, Genesis 12, chapter, verse 1. And this is pertaining to what we're, we're dealing with tonight. And I, and I like this so much about Abraham. And Abraham is Abraham, but he, he was Abraham when he was in uh, uh, in the old country and in his old hometown, amen. So here, <clears throat> excuse me, in the Word of God, it says, Now... The Lord said, uh, has said unto Abraham, uh, uh, get thee out of the co thy country. And sometimes you, when you hit, when you stay still, you can hear God's voice. And, and God said, Abraham, get thee out of thy country and from, and from thy kindred. In other words, I, I, I want you to move out of the place where you comfortable at and where you known all this time. And as a matter of fact, I want you to even disassemble, remove, exit yourself from even around your kinfolk. Uh-huh. So, so not only that, but here it says here, and, fr and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house. So, I, I, I not only that, you know, uh, I, I want you to remove from your kindred, the, your cousins, your, your uncles and them, I, but not only them, but I want you to even move from your father's house unto a land that I will show thee. See, he's listening. He's listening to God because he ain't got busy. He he heard a voice, so he 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 took notice of the voice. Because it, you know, it, and how did he take notice? He gonna you gonna you gonna see how he took notice of the voice. He said, "Now look at what look at what say, what 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 God is saying here to Abraham." He said, "And I will make." Of thee a great nation. Uh, uh, see, I like that right there because he said, "Now I, I'm telling you some things to do. I'm giving you some instructions." And uh, but in order for you to get the instructions of God, you got to stay still. You can't be busy. You can't have all this stuff on your mind. You got to have your mind have to slow down to a pace to hear the voice of God. And here Abraham is listening to God, and God says, "I need you to, to leave your country in which you've been." All this time, and then I, not only that, but even the folks you grew up around, your kindred, I, I want you to just leave them too. And then, last but not least, leave your father's house. The one that nurtured you, you got to leave your father's house. Mm, that's something right there. And to a land, I will show thee. So so not a land that, that, that you want to go, Abraham, but, but a land that I want you to go to. Amen. And that's, that's when we really hear from God, and he's showing us some stuff here in his word tonight, amen, uh, 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 when your mind slows down, you, you can, and you prioritize that God is, is centered around your life, you first got to say, you know what, God is the first thing on my list, and, and any goals that I got, I, I got to send around, I got to center my goals around God, amen, amen, whatever I desire, when I, when I get ready to make my home purchase, I got to, got to seek God, God, where do you want me to, to reside at. Hey Amen. What kind of house that, that you want me to go to? Because cause I know what budget I'm working with God, but, but if you show me it's going to be a house that me and my wife, my family going to enjoy. Hey Amen. But here, go back to the word. It says now, um, uh, 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 I, and I will make thee a great nation. Somebody ought to shout glory because God is speaking here into the, the, the man, our, our, our father, Abraham. Amen. I will make thee, I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee. Not only I'm going to make you great, but I'm going to bless you. Somebody ought to shout glory. I'm not only going to make you somebody great, but I'm going to bless you in the process. In the process, you're going to be blessed and great. Good gracious. Ah, yes, Lord. And, and so I will make thee, amen. I will bless thee. 
and make thy name great. Look at all these things. I'm going to make thee a great nation. Yo, 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 everybody that come from your loins going to be great. All your seeds going to be great. And not only that, but I'm going to bless you. And, and, and Abraham, since I'm blessing you, and I'm blessing your seed, I'm blessing your seed seeds. Good gracious. Yes, Lord. And not only that, but I'm going to make thy name great. His name was great in the beginning when he was Abraham to Abraham. And, and look at us today. We still getting the benefits of our father, Abraham. Good gracious right there because God is not a man that he will lie. And his word is true. Hallelujah. And so, and then not only that, but and thou shalt be a blessing. So I'm going I'm to bless you and then you're going to be a blessing to somebody else. You're going to have that spirit that everybody in your in your area, everybody in, in the land where I tell you to go, going to benefit because cause I saw something in you, Abraham. Abraham. Amen. I saw something in you. Everybody around you Everybody connected, everybody attached to you, going to reap, hallelujah, for what he said to Abraham. Come on, somebody. Yes, Lord. So, so Abraham, listen to this. He has said, listen to God, because in the beginning it says, now, now the Lord has said. So he's already telling Abraham some stuff. And then he said, if you do this stuff, here, as you do as I say, uh, 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 you're going to be blessed and all the stuff that come with it. And look at look at look at verse number four. <laughs> so Abraham departed. He you know he departed. He didn't say you know I'm gonna really miss daddy. I don't think I can leave my uh, my my daddy's house. I, I've been living here all my life. I ain't never left Lewisburg. I'm I I got the I'm I'm used to Lewisburg. I, I ain't never been to Raleigh. I ain't never been to New York. I ain't never been to Atlanta. I ain't never been to Virginia. I just been in Lewisburg all my life, and I'd love to be here. And, and so so therefore you can't see anything. But here, uh, but here, uh, going back to the word is that, uh, so Abraham, so Abraham departed. Listen to the next thing here. He listened to him in the beginning, what he told him he was going to do for him. Abraham trusted God. So it says here, so Abraham departed. You got to be listening to get the instructions, but then you got to trust what you're listening to. Uh, yeah, that's some, somebody too tonight. Yes. You got to trust. What you hear, you you hear God. So now you heard it, but you got to trust it also. See, it's it's, it's one thing you heard, but it's another thing to trust what you heard. Amen, amen. God spoke it to you, but you but you can't have no doubt. You got to be assurance that that whatever God told you is gonna be so. Amen. So Abraham departed, as the Lord has spoken unto him. And Lot went with him, and Abraham was 75 years old when he departed out of Haran. Mm. 75 years. And I got to move. I got to, I, everything I got, I got, I'm already good. I got, I, I, I mean, we living right now. You mean, you mean I got to move? But if you move, I, I, I ain't worried about your age. But if you move, if you trust me, if you believe in me, and you know what I tell you is not gonna be a lie, you not only you gonna be blessed, but everybody around you gonna be blessed. Amen. How many times do you know preachers and stuff? Uh, uh, we do stuff for each other, and, and, and for you know it, you you don't got something extra that you need count for. You ain't even looking for it. I want to be in this season that 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 yes, anything I ask, I know it's gonna happen. Amen. I just know it's going to happen because for one, I'm connected to God to, to the point that, you know what? I don't see it, but I know that he will give it to me because he going to speak some stuff into my life. That's going to make it, make it all come clear. I, I just got, I just believe it. Amen. And, and you know, and I said, like, Lord, you know what we need <laughs> and you know what we want. Now I'm not going to move until I get a clear direction from you. But but there's some people that 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 connected with Abraham while Abraham at his age is seventy. Uh, 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 I mean, excuse me, of 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 uh, of uh, seventy five year old, and he now he got the book up and moved to a land at his age. 
But 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 75 years old back then, probably like a, a 19 year old now because they walked there where they were stronger than an ox man can pick up a a, a, a any a tree from the from the root back in the day because they they just they just were so much stronger amen but that now what made them so much stronger was their connection with God that's why they was able to do so much or a matter of fact they was they they were able to do stuff then that y'all would say today will be impossible for a man a human man to do but because God is with them, they were just, they were, I mean, they, look, God spoke, they ain't hesitate. Today, we just, you know, I ain't sure. Um, uh, I, I got to get another sign. I, I just, I, I just ain't sure. I, I got to get another sign. I, I, you heard it the first time. But see, we've gotten weak over the time. We've gotten weak over the centuries, oh, 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 over generations after generations. Because them, them first generation uh, p- uh, people of God that, that really trusted God, boy, they, they'll walk through rivers and valleys. They won't scare the lions, tigers, nor bears. They, they, will, they just had so much. They were so in tune with the earth. Amen. And, and, and I'm talking to this preacher um, uh, over here in the... In the um, in the store the other day, uh, uh, we talking about tent revivals. We, you know, we don't, you know, we don't get back to tent revival. We don't. We just want to kick them out because we so used to the air conditioning, the heat, you know, the lights and all that stuff. We, boy, I'm telling you right now. And we and him were talking, and we were talking about how it, how good it feels just to be outside because get, we we are in tune with the earth, and, and so we, you know, get back outside. You might get something so much different than you would inside. It's just so. It's just a different experience. Amen. It's just a, such a different experience. But but here, uh, going back to the word, uh, 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 so so here, uh, uh, he departed at his old age. He followed the, the, the voice of God. Now, verse 9, it says, Now, and Abraham journeyed, going on still toward the south. And there was a famine in the land. And Abraham went down into Egypt to ser- sojourn, amen, there. For the famine was grievous in the land. So, so now he, he, there's some things going on, you know, the, the, you, you, you know, you done left a place and now you, 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 you went to another place and, and he, here come a, a famine in the land. And so he, Abraham went down to eat into Egypt to sojourn, uh, uh there to, he going to spend some time there for the famine was grievous in the land. And it came to pass when, when he, he was come, uh, near to enter into Egypt that he said unto Sarah his wife, Behold now, I know that thou art a fair woman to look upon. And in other words, boy, you, you, boy, you, you tell you right now, boy, you everything in a bag of chips. Boy, you, you, you more precious than any ruby I can see. I, 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 you so beautiful. I just can't stop looking at you myself. I know you, my wife, but it just mesmerized me how good you look. Uh, you, I, 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 I behold, I know that you are a fair woman to look upon. Boy, I tell you, I bet you she was just a beauty, a beauty to his eye. Amen. It said, therefore. It shall come to pass when the Egyptians shall see thee that uh, that they shall say, This is his wife, and they will kill me, but they will save thee alive. Say, I pray thee, thou art my sister, that it may be well with me for thy sake, and my soul shall live because of thee. Sometimes when trouble get in our way, we 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 know we come thinking, man. We go, okay, how I'ma get out of this? I I know what they're gonna do, and, and so what I, what can I do? He's he's up here thinking about what what he gonna do. But but I, I'm going somewhere with this tonight because we got to realize that that his woman was a bad mama jamma. He he said, yeah, I, you I, you fair to look upon, and that fair beauty beyond beauty. Uh huh. And you are gonna see how beautiful she was. He says, now I, I pray to you, say say you're my sister because because unless they kill me, uh uh. uh they take my soul. I I I I I pray thee tell them you my sister. And and it came to pass that when Abraham uh was coming to Egypt, the Egyptians beheld the woman that she was very fair. But they ain't never seen a beautiful woman as such as his wife. And here they come. So so he 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 felt this this this, this that they they going on and he was scared and he didn't he didn't know what else to do but to say, look, I need you to tell them uh uh you my sister. But 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 here we got to realize that that when when God bring people together when when you know you can't go against another man's wife you can't go against another woman's husband and even if it's uh, done by trickery that there are some consequences that are gonna happen because of the trickery and, and we'll see that real real quickly it says that not only the, the Egyptians beheld a woman that she was very fair boy that, them jokers they, they you know she I, I imagine she was so attractive they had to uh, 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 they grabbed her up. 
and look, look at verse 16 and, and he and, and he uh okay going back up to 15 sorry uh the princes listen now the princes also of pharaoh saw so everybody the egyptian looking the, the princes the princes also of pharaoh saw her and commended her before pharaoh and, and, and the woman was taken into pharaoh's house and he and he entreated Abraham well for her sake and he had sheep and ox and she asses and and men servants and maid servants and she asses and camels and the Lord played look at there you see you even see sometimes you got to watch what you say because somebody else going go might reap what you say you know you can't go around there talking about the men and women of God uh, because when you put your mouth on us, amen, you might not be affected, but somebody in your family might be, be destroyed by your lips. So that's why you ought not to have your mouth on folk. Mm, yeah, swallow that tonight. Uh, yeah, talking about what ministry ain't going to rise or uh, he over there doing it and all this stuff. You keep talking and then you want to know why. Yeah, I'm just being real because it do happen. You look at the word. Look at the word. Because of the lie <laughs> that Abraham said, he said, tell them you my sister. I know we married, but I, I don't want them to kill me. So, so now we got to make a lie up. So look at what happened with, with the lie. Look at this. It said, and the Lord plagued Pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of Sarah, Abraham's wife. That, that lie. Uh, and because, of, uh, 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 because see, he was scared. And he had to come up with this lie. And and now, because they done took her, God said, you know what? Your whole house, everything played. Lie. So you can stop lying. Don't be lying on folk. Amen. You ain't go back and apologize. Even I said, look, I'm sorry. You know, I said something. I shouldn't have said. Look, forgive me. You need to get that stuff off of you because, look, everybody else affected by this lie. You understand? But you see, but but on the other side, God is say, is say, look, I gave you the woman, and, and and so you got to continue to trust me. But because of their lust for eyes, because they lust came up in their flesh, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna plague them, because you know what? I, they already, I'm sure they already had women at the camp. They already had women in the community. But they saw strangers coming up. They want they they greeted. They they want to take everything that came around, cause they were lusting. They looked at how beautiful she beautiful she was, and that's that's how it is with us. You know, ain't nothing wrong with me and us brothers. You know, let me let's get let's get the air right. Ain't no way in the world you can't see that you see uh, beautiful women out here. Whether you're going to the mall, you're going out to eat. The whole thing about it is, is that you don't keep your eyeballs dead locked like a missile. You see, that's what mess brothers up. They, 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 they see a beautiful woman. It ain't that we all see pe women. Women, our, our women see men that are handsome. But the difference is, we can acknowledge that we see beautiful men and women in the community. But the problem come in is when your eyeballs is is dead locked like radar, like like a missile being launched from the launch pad. Your eyes is dead locked. You know everything. You matter of fact, you you know she got braces. You don't look so hard. But you all up in a grill and everything. You know what kind of shoes, the designer name of the shoes. You know what kind of designer pants she got on. What kind of designer shirt she got on because you you don't you don't heat you don't heat seat you don't heat missile in. That's why people, that's why brothers get messed up. You know, it, it's one thing that we see a beautiful woman and we keep on going because it don't unfaze you. You know, especially when you love your wife, you your wife got it going on. But, you know, you see beautiful kings and queens all out in the place. But, you know, the problem, like I said, when men begin to stare and they begin, them eyes is like locked, like a, like a cat done charmed them. They can't even move. They they, they like, they trans in a, in a stance. Like somebody done hypnotized them. They they done dead lock. They know the the color of her shirt, the everything. If she you know what kind if she what kind of you know her teeth if she got braces on what kind of sh if she got shades on if she if she got uh, Michael Kors shoes and a handbag uh, what kind of jeans or whatever y'all just dead locked on it. And then that that's why you let the thought in your uh, flesh come up because your eyes was in the wrong place too long. 
So here the same thing goes with a lie. You done told a lie on somebody. Now now you got now now everything around you is it's got played. Now yeah, you can take it like it is. And I and I ain't and I'm not bashing nobody. I'm telling you what the word is. I'm teaching tonight because somebody need to get that in their spirit. Because this is some real stuff we deal with. It, 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 whatever measure measure you sold is the measure you weak. You you gonna get it back. So 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 if you out here trying to trick around on your on your relationship on your your spouse, same thing might have come back if they ain't if they ain't rooted and grounded in God. If they ain't delivered and set free, everybody gonna be doing everything. And then y'all got piles of spirits in y'all's house. Ain't nothing going to never work. But going back to the word of God. The, and the Lord plagued Pharaoh and his house with great plagues. So that plagues, that's, that's plural. That's more than one. That's, that could be multiple, many. That could be thousands and hundred thousand. But, but many with great plagues because of, of Sarah, uh, Abraham's uh, 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 wife. And Pharaoh called Abram and said, What is this that thou hast done unto me? What you done done to me? I, I, we, were, we were living pretty good. We ain't have no, no, no quarreling. We ain't have no plagues. We, we had more than enough. What in the world have you done? Because you're a stranger over here in, 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 my, in my camp. You're, you're a stranger in the community. What you done done? Because I ain't, everything was cooking like grease. Everything was just easy going like like a car on on cruise. But 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 since y'all done came here, now something done change. Are, are we getting attacked? And it's, it's not by people. It, 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 I, you know we can fight against other folk that come against us, but there's plagues that that we can't even fight against. What, what you done done to me, <laughs> huh? And Pharaoh called Abraham and said, uh, uh, "What is this that thou hast done unto me?" Why didst thou not tell me that she was thy wife? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm over here. Uh, I'm over here suffering now because you told me she was your sister. I, I was, you know, I, I was, I was giving you the doubt of your word. I, I, I was, you know, I was trusting in your word to be true. Why you, why you do this thing to me now? Now you, you don't call something to, to happen to me that that I can't even fight back at. You know, you need players coming down, and and I we ain't even got no defense for it. We we got a good army, but our army can't even attack these players that God is sending. Mm, yes. So here we see the. Abraham, Abraham had a lie, you know, and he was, he was scared. He, he didn't know what else to do. He, 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 he knew there was a famine in the land, and, and he had said, you know what, well, I got to go there. We got to go down there. And, we got to journey down there. We got to go down there and tarry a while down there. Uh, and, but I want you to tell them you my sister. But because of the lie, see, he was scared, and he know he, he didn't know that, that, that the same God that told him he was going to be great, his name was going to be great, that was the same God that he could walk anywhere. But 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 at that time, his flesh got to, got to talk, his mind got to talking to him. You know, he, he don't God, what God has said, but but now he 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 said, Lord have mercy, they're gonna kill me because they're, they're gonna take you. They ain't gonna do nothing to you because you're a fine woman. Now, you my wife, you bad boy. You whoo, they look at you, they gonna want you. So so look, you got to tell them, uh, you my sister. And so here, <laughs> so here we uh, uh we see now that the lie, uh, uh because he was scared, uh uh caused a great plague against Pharaoh. Uh huh, and everybody in, in surrounded with Pharaoh, connected with Pharaoh, got they got they they got in it. So so that's why we that's why we can't entertain certain things. That's why when you deliver and set free, you can't go back and hang around the same people. If, if you know that that uh cu cu cousin Boot and, and, and you know cousin Boot and them uh cousin Boot and Jack and them and, uh, don't do that with gamma smoking and and, ha and have cousin everywhere and everybody doing what they want to do and people there everywhere and people getting in the back room they doing everything they got gamma in one room they doing this and that in another room all this stuff going on you got you can't do that stuff you that cause that stuff will weigh on you you that, that stuff will weigh on you amen you remember you remember the story a uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, 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 lot uh, uh, I mean a uh, Job and, and you remember what Job said? Job said that that that, that his children went into their house, his daughters, and his son went in the house. They done, they were drinking, and they they married, they were laughing and giggling, and, and he perceived in their heart that they done committed sin with one another. So he went to praying, and then the next thing happened, even though it was to affect Job, but it won't no better that they were sitting around there sinning with each other. They got destroyed, y'all. I know we can look at stuff a whole lot of different ways, but this is just this this what's going on today, all right. But here, Pharaoh said, Abraham, man, look, y'all the only thing new or out of out of ordinary in our area, 
and, and this thing you done done, you know, you know, why you ain't tell me the, that she was your, your wife? And and why said if thou that she is my sister? Why you why you do this to me now? I can't even fight back. So I might have taken her to to my wife now before now therefore behold thy wife you take her and go thy way. Matter of fact, because the plague is is so hard, you know normally you you don't did this thing to me, boy. Them jokers right back then, them them emperors and them and these pharaohs, these kings. You do something that, that against them, they kill you. But but because the plagues of God was so heavy on them in that area. They, they said, look, I don't, we, I don't want to kill you. I don't, I don't want to do nothing. I don't even want nothing back I gave you. Matter of fact, I just want you to leave. <laughs> Amen. So behold, take thy wife. You take her. Amen. And go thy way. And Pharaoh commanded his men. Listen to this. Concerning him. And he, he, not, he not only said, you know what? Uh, 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 I'm, 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 listen, I ain't going to kill you. And I'm going to command my men. They they gonna know they everything that I said that I want you to do they ain't gonna harm you either cause we, we, we no you just go and Pharaoh commanded his his men concerning him he and he got them out hey look we got to get them out don't do nothing to him we got to get them out and and they sent him away and his wife and all that he had so he didn't say look you don't you don't trick me Pharaoh didn't say that no he didn't say man look. That stuff I gave you, I need it back. You done lied to me and called it play. Uh-uh. He he said, look, they done came out there to get some. Even even though he lied, <laughs> God still was on his side because God knew that he was scared. God knew that the, that his wife was so fine that these brothers were gonna take her and go kill him. So God didn't want to kill the 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 seed of many nations. So so yes, the lie went there, but 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 look what happened in the process of a lie. So so I want to just say that to you tonight is, is that you don't be lying on folk. Amen. You see Brother James over there at, at, at Sister Carly House. You don't even know the, the situation. Matter of fact, you don't even know if it's a if it's another if it's three or four people in the house. You just know that Brother Jane and went over Sister Carol house, and now you were getting on the telephone. You say, "Yeah, I see him down here. I knew it all the time." And it don't be nothing that you didn't even know that Joker was a plumber, and he was contracted out to go there and work on Sister Carol's house, Sister Carol house. But guess what? You didn't know that, but you got on there and started spreading a lie. Uh huh. And pulled up and been over there two and three hours. You done spread it a lie. And now you want to know why everything in your camp is, is gone wrong. Everything in your camp done gone south. Because you done sat on that hollow and you done told a lie. Amen. And matter of fact, the most dangerous thing is not not only only what you, the lie you tell, but the mess that you spread for somebody else. Because you don't know where that devilment came from. So you go spread some girl. Yeah, I heard from sister so and so that 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 uh, that preacher down there. Uh, uh, yeah, he called himself a preacher. He was over there. He was over there too. And I know she just got saved, and she ain't always delivered yet. But she just got saved. And he over there. And you don't even know the you don't even know the situation. He could be over there praying. You know, the, the, they could be. Ten folks over there, but you ain't see nobody come in. You only saw two cars, but you ain't see the, that three or four folk them pile, had piled up in the car. And all the thing you saw was the the, the preacher, and you go out on the hello and uh, spread it a lie, and then that lie went to another person. That's how dangerous it is. And then you want to know that girl? I just don't know. I just I just can't keep my bills up. I just you, sometimes we have problems because of our own flesh and our own mess. There, there are other times we have problems. Uh, uh, we have ex, uh, valid experiences because God is testing us. But but Paul said it's better to do uh, uh, to suffer for the good that I do than the evil that I do. You understand? In, in other words, he's saying that 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 I I'd rather go through some valid experiences. I'd rather have some setbacks and some 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 down uh, uh some some down things in my life, but rather than, than to have some things in my life because of the way I act and the way I mistreat people. Uh, uh, it's a dangerous thing, a much harder thing to to, to, to be a certain way and, and then you doing stuff. You suffer more. And you sometimes I lose your mind. But but us that, that really believe and you know, we, we know that we're going to endure some things. We're going to endure some things. 
The Bible didn't never tell us we won't go and do some things. We won't go do some hardships. We won't go. We know some things gonna come up. Some un, you know out of the, um some bills out of the air. You know just that like your car might need something out of the ordinary, and you just pay extra this and that, and then you're like, Lord, uh, something else done happen. But you living right, you doing right. It, it, it these things in life that do happen. It does. But there are some people out here as they fall from God. And, 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 and they want to know why they just can't never get ahead. And, and why they just can't never. Because we ain't delivered. That's it right there. We ain't delivered. And our mind going a hundred places. So that's why I would tell you. If, if you take time to hear his voice. these Some things will be in order. But we got to be delivered and set free. We got to commune. We got to have time with him. We got to pray. We got to pray daily. Amen. You know, it, it's one thing, you know, uh, 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 to, to have to have a, a a valuable thing in your house and you never wipe it down. You just leave it dusty. That means you don't care nothing about it. But you have some stuff. You know, like grandma and them, they had, you know how grandmas did and, grand, and you know, our old folk did back in the day. You go over to the house, they got that old hard plastic on the, on, that old hot plastic on the, on the uh, furniture in the living room because they don't want you to sit on their good stuff and mess it up. So, a uh, 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 matter of fact, you ain't even going to the living room because they got their, their, their little tea table there. They got all their little china there decorated all around there. You ain't, they took some, 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 uh, uh, uh respect to that stuff that they worked hard for. They didn't praise the stuff, but they just like nice stuff and you won't go in there they stuff up. Amen. You won't go in there and sit in the living room because one, the living room was for company. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So, and then, so anyway, you know, so, so we don't want to, we don't want that. We don't want to treat God like that because God is the most valuable thing in our life. God is, is like the heart in our heart. You don't understand? The heart that's beating right now, that's God. Amen. And God beats, amen, within side of us. Hallelujah. And we got to continue to have that, that, that same uh, spirit towards each other as we want God to have towards us. Hey Amen. We got to have the same. So it's all start with the mind. You got to take time to slow down. And I hope somebody listening tonight. Hey Amen. Because you know, this is this is the thing. And and, and um, my brother brother just texted me a message says that uh that 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 amen who who are listening to his uh to to him in this season god uh god or the father of lies see either you're gonna be listening to to god in this season or you're gonna you're gonna be listening to the the prince of this uh uh the prince of this world amen the evil one amen you gonna which one you gonna listen to obedience is better than sacrifice and it is it's it is obedience is better than sacrifice it is we got to take time out we got to take time out and know that every each of us is called. We and, and sometimes you know we may be called to perfect just one gift or one thing. Amen, amen. Because there's many. You know that like 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 that like there's, you know back in the day. You know when the disciples was walking around spreading sharing the gospel, uh, they couldn't they couldn't do everything. They just couldn't because something was gonna get left out. So so they couldn't like continue to share the word and then take on the needs of like the, the physical need of the people taking care of the poor the widows you know helping people with their houses or or, or or seeing you know feeding the people you know so so then they they they, they got some some men of good standard to help with the needs and the welfare of the people so that freed them up to to, to, to look to continue <laughs> got tongue tied again okay, give me something to drink uh, uh to continue to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ the word of God you know, so everybody designed, you know, uh, 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 just like the nurses, some, some churches have nurses, you, you know, the nurses got their, 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 their duties and, and the ushers, the ushers, uh, uh, got their duty. You know, they, they, they stand the door, they usher people in. They supposed to be greeting people as they come into the house of, of prayer to, to worship. You know, they, they supposed to have, should have a smile on their face. They should be overjoyed to see brother and sister come in to the house of worship. Amen. So, so everybody got their role. Even the people on. On the on the uh that take care of the grass and you know the buildings you know all that one one man can't do that. Everybody ain't made to, to build highways. Everybody ain't made to 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 build buildings and in infrastructure. Everybody ain't made to do that. Amen. That's why you got different uh degrees that you can get from college. But you got to seek out your your best what what gifts you have your talents that can uh you can use with that degree. Amen. You know, 
Like some people, they love to take care of people. So so they might get into the nursing program because they just want to see, help sick people. You know what I'm saying? There might be some people that they design to help those that are in the rest home uh, because they just want to, they want to take care of the elderly. You understand what I'm talking about tonight? So everybody got, you know, different things that we are perfected in. Hallelujah. Amen. But you know, uh, uh, there are there are some that that that, that teaches. Uh, uh, there are some men and women of God that that teach, and there, there, there are some that preach. But but the preachers, the pastors, should be teachers. Amen. And, 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 and so the leaders, we should have all of that. We got to have all that. Cause preachers that preach should be teaching, should be able to teach. Because because all that stuff go hand in hand. You should be able to 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 expound on a thing and, and talk to people on stuff. Amen. To, and break it down. On, on, and, and and preaching is a whole nother whole nother concept. But but we all should be if we preaching the word of God, we also should be able to teach the word of God. And, and they are different things. Amen. Amen. Because when you, see when you teaching some stuff. Amen. Amen. We we're breaking it down into to a form of where you you can understand it, you can grasp it, you can you can apply it to your life. And, and sometimes when we get to that get to that point in the spirit, we begin to preach it because now the Holy Spirit is talking. So I can start out teaching you, Amen, Amen, and I'm still listening to the voice of God, Amen. I'm breaking it down to you in layman's term for you to understand the message or, 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 or the teaching of tonight. But but when the spirit of God comes on the inside and take control over my spirit, he began to talk to me. Hallelujah. And I tell you stuff or you hear stuff. Hallelujah. That's really directed in your life. Hallelujah. Then I'm preaching. Hallelujah. I feel like preaching now. I'm feeling good. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to thank you tonight. We, we we know that was a little bit, but remember, you know, we got to take time. We got to take time and, 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 and to understand that we can't be dysfunctional in this season. We got to slow down. We got to make sure that everything is prioritized in our life. God is center head of our life. He's our heart to make the heart beat. He's our everything. Amen. So we got to make him first in our life. And, and we got to make sure, amen, that that, that we are, are, are really, if we deliver, we, we be delivered. Amen. It, people say it's so hard, you know. It ain't, it, it really ain't. It really ain't. Because it come with practice. See, you know, things, some things come. You know, when I was out in the world, man, I cussed like a sailor. I mean, I, I use so much untouched words that I can't even stand cussing now. I mean, it is sometimes it just get under my skin. But I know that, that when I was out there that, that, that these people time ain't my ain't my time. You know, it's it's God's time. But you know, uh 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 man, I tell you right now, I just had some so my word was just my, my, my words out my mouth was just you don't know what I'm gonna say. But guess what? When when God came into my life, my talking changed, my thinking changed, my ways changed. Then after all of those things take place, I began to uh uh, 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 disconnect from old things like the old hangout people that I, I, I mean, it won't like I was trying to be funny, but I know that I, 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 I was, I know that I couldn't be around it because I didn't want to slip up and, and I didn't want to go back. You understand? So, so it won't that I was trying to be better than my, my people that I was hanging with back in the day. But, but it, it, it is that I had to have a separation for my own self. And, and that should be for that should, that should be for every listener tonight, every man or woman listening tonight. Is that th this stuff has to be something that you know you need for yourself, Amen. You can't worry about grandma, mama, daddy, none of them. Uh, uh, let people be what they're gonna do. We gonna continue to pray for folk, love them. Cause I ain't stop loving my folk just because my man, my homeboys just because I don't stop hanging around and stop doing the thing they do. I don't, don't mean I, I can't stand their guts or no. That that don't mean that. It just mean that I have now uh, uh, came to a point in my life that that now I'm hearing from God in the direction I need to be going. I need to be traveling down this road. I don't need to be over here on this other road, the side road. Let's call it the side road. I don't need to be on the side road. I need to stay on the main road. The side road might have a lot of problems, and I don't need no problem in my life. And, and matter of fact, if you deliver, you start taking all that weight. All that weight stuff off of you, you know that stuff that we fight against. See, it, it becomes easy. The stuff that we continue to f fight with our flesh, it becomes easy because the more you put in the spirit of God and the more you put in spiritual things, the the less you worry about the other stuff because it become like putting on shoes. It become like putting turning on a light switch. It become easy, amen. And then you then when when the when the enemy talks to you and and or things become uh, problems in your life, 
you won't fold up. You you keep standing because you know that that trials and tribulations are always gonna be in our until we die. We're gonna come with something. Hey Amen. We're gonna come with something. You know, we we look at how when gas first went up, I even complained about the gas. Gas was so high, almost five dollars a gallon. I was like, good crazy. I said, I tell you what, I just stopped riding. <laughs> if I didn't have to go to town, I didn't go. If I didn't have to go to the mall, I didn't go. You know, I just had to adjust it. But you know what? I made it through. Gas now, $2.20, 25 cents, 23 cents. Gas and cane down. See, we endured it. Amen. We stayed on course. Amen. We're going to continue. We um want you to listen. I'm going to dedicate this song right here to all my listeners, family members that's going through. If they got something on their plate, if they uh, are bereaving, any any family members that are bereaving right now that is listening, uh, I, I, anybody that that's, that needs something, an uh, uh, answer from God, I want to dedicate this song to you and let this song minister to your spirit. Amen.
God is <clears throat> God is our all in all and you know so many people out here going through something right now and, 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 and you know what that, that there's so many people sick today uh, all I saw on social media is uh, those uh, people have flu symptoms uh, 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 even down to children now even my wife on on last night um, uh, don't know if she thought she got food poison but but then had a little chills and throughout the day little chills but didn't have checked the fever and it was okay and then went around to go to the pharmacies and get her stuff and been waiting on her today but she's still feeling a little down and uh, in her body a little sick so we just want to take time right now to just give God uh, some time to just meditate on him right now and just send up some prayer right now for all those that are sick including my wife uh, because we got to continue to pray we got to believe that thing and, and I prayed over her this uh, earlier today amen but we're gonna pray not only for my wife but for everybody that's sick in their bodies that whether they got flu or whatever sickness they have Heavenly Father God I come once again as humble as I know how God we thank you God for this day that you've given us we thank you God for life itself we love you on this evening well, God, we cry out to you right now with humble hearts, God, that we need you right now in this moment. We need you on the day, God. We need you on this time that we are talking about right now, God. That so many people, God, including my wife, going through sickness, God. We, we pray right now that the sickness be uh, released from their bodies right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, you said that if, if we believe, we believe and have faith that it will, amen, evaporate out their bodies. Hallelujah. We praying now that they recover to full strength in in the name of jesus that they they can they can feel themselves again that they don't feel no pain god we we know that you're listening to us tonight and we love you oh god we praying now god for the many that are listening that may be sick the many around this country and around this world in every country god there's somebody sick god we know that you're a deliverer god we crying out to your name Oh, God, because you're so wonderful. God, you, you continue to look out for us, God. And we know that's what a father does. Hallelujah. We thank you now for the healing, God. We know it's going to take it's gonna take place, oh, God. Oh, God, we thank you. Oh, God, we thank you. Oh, God, we just call upon your name this hour. God, for those that are uh, uh, confused in their mind, uh, their minds got so much on, they don't know what to do. And God, we praying that first people get delivered in America. People are delivered around the world, whether it's in uh, Israel, Egypt, uh, Africa, uh, 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 even in China, Japan, uh, everywhere in this world, God. Oh, God. England, oh, God. Hallelujah. Everywhere in this world, God, we praying that people get delivered, God, that, that, that you get the victory, God, of the things that they get delivered from, oh, God, that they acknowledge you, God. That you are the all living God. Hallelujah. And God we love you. We love you. And we thank you God. For listening to us. And, and we thank you God. Because we pray to you oh God. In the name of your son Jesus. Oh God. God that people all over this country. Begin to wake up and, and shape up. And, and begin to have a thirst after you oh God. Oh God we praying right now God. We are interceding now God. For those that don't even care about themselves oh God. God I love people. And I don't want to see them hurt oh God. I don't want to see them destroyed oh God. I pray right now that there's something left. If, if you see something that, that they, can, they, they, they can hold on to, God. Oh, God, God, add to it, oh, God. That, that you get the glory. That you get the praise. That you get the honor. Hallelujah. For all the stuff that they come out from. Oh, God, we don't never want to not praise you. We don't never want to not acknowledge you, oh, God. Because we can't live without you, oh, Father. I can't live without you. I can't save myself. But I thank you for your grace. Hallelujah. I thank you for your mercy. Oh God, somebody listening tonight, God, we praying for natural blessings in their life, oh God. God, whatever uh, you see that they need, it might not be finances, it might be just to get their children in line, oh God. God, continue to work on my children, God. Oh God, we, we training them right, God, but continue to hold your hand on them, oh God. Continue to, to be a hedge around them, God, when the devils try to come, the spirit try to come in and talk to them. Oh God, block their ears. Oh God, let them see nothing but your righteousness oh god hallelujah and the path in which you have them to go oh god we're praying right now god for those that that, that want to give up on drugs they crying out so hard 
but the drug is so addictive God we're praying God that they are delivered from that drug uh, that they come out from that street uh, that they begin to to take back their self worth hallelujah oh God continue to touch this broadcast that that what I say go out into this world God that it increase power into somebody that they can make it and that they are love I don't have to know them. I don't have to be related to them, oh God, but but because you gave me the heart to love God, I love them. Hallelujah. I can wave at them and not know them. I can speak to them and not know them, oh God. I thank you, God, for that heart, God. Just loving people. Oh God, we're praying, God, for all our leaders, oh God. We're praying, God, for everyone in this world. Praying for this generation, God, the lost generation, God. That, that, that has been blinded and fooled by rap and, and by electronics, God, and, and all the stuff that they should come on the TV, God. But I want to pray for the parents, God, that they begin to have the boldness, God, to take those things away, that they teach them children in the way that they should go. Hallelujah. Show them the way, oh God. Teach them, God. Work on them in the midnight hour while they sleep, oh God. Oh God, go to their thoughts in the midnight hour, oh God. Let them know that you're still God, hallelujah, and they still, hallelujah, have to praise you. Oh, God, we're praying right now in the name of your son, Jesus, oh, God, for every pastor, every preacher that's listening over the airways tonight. Oh, God, continue to allow us to have true fellowship with one another, oh, God. And let us not have a funny acting spirit to one another, oh, God, because if we do have funny acting spirit, oh, God, we can't be true to teach nobody else how to treat their neighbor. But, God, you know what we need, God. I ask right now, God, if there's anything that I need, need more of God fill me up oh God if there's anything that need to be taken out God replace it right now God in the name of your son Jesus hallelujah oh God we continue to do your work God continue to shield us God walk with us God talk with us God be with us God as we journey on our oh God in this world in our community oh God let us continue to lead by example oh God hallelujah oh God continue to touch those that are in the hospital right now God there's somebody someplace fighting for their life Oh, God, if it's in thy will, if thy will be done, touch them right now. Make a miracle out of that, that person, God. Oh, God, let that family have, have, a, have a belief that, that you still live and you still love them. Oh, God, we, we sometimes people just need you to show up, God. And we know that you're going to show up, God. But we praying for those that have lost all hope. We praying that their hope come back strong. Hallelujah. And they can sustain, sustain themselves. Hallelujah. God, we pray in this prayer tonight. In the name of your son, Jesus. Continue to bless this radio broadcast. Continue to bless, bless all our new friends and our, uh, our new connections, oh God. Let our, let our friendships be true and real, God. Let, let us have no hidden agendas, oh God. Oh, God, we thank you now for deliverance, oh, God. Continue to, God, if there's anything that we continue to need, God. Oh, God, continue to operate us even. Have in our mind, God. Uh, we, we just needed you, uh, uh, you to take it away, God, if it's there. He's able to fix your problems. He's able to fight your battles. He's able to, to slow your mind down. Because all you got to do is speak it. And, you can, and he gives us power to speak it to our mind. Mind, I need you to slow down. Okay, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. That's right. Slow down. And hear what God got to say. Amen. We love you. We love you. We love you. We got a few more songs tonight for you. We got the weather coming up, so stay tuned. Come on. We're going to continue to praise God on me. We praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody, you know, might be uplifted tonight. Or they might might be a word or two. You might be something, you know, in, in the message tonight. Something in the teaching tonight that helped you along the way. We all have something. Amen. And, and the more we do, we do we, 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 we in tune with each other, the more that we, we study the word, the more that we talk about the word, the more we teach, the more we gain. Amen. Because a lot of times, you know, we could get we could get sermons from other people, from other preachers. Amen. Hey, hey sometimes God could give you something from somebody, something you heard from another preacher. Oh, come on now. It ain't still. Every one of them brothers got something. Disciples got something from Jesus. 
And every one of them could use, use something that he's taught, something that he said while he was teaching. Come on now. Amen. Amen. SOS, I need you daily. Yeah. Can't lie, say the pain don't phase me. My God, who gon' help these babies? I've been in the fire so long, I can't get burned no more. I thought you was putting out the flame, but it was rain from the storm. That's over my head, making me stressed all day long. They won't let me rest, that's on my chest. I ain't that strong. I need a lifeline right now. 911 won't do. My back's against the wall now. Done all that I could do. I prayed every prayer, went to every service like I know how. Just a ship without a sail. I'm lost without your It's all about what you want. Your family used to be first. Things getting worse in my home. My brother is hurt. We need a word. It's too far gone. I need a lifeline right now. 911 won't do. My back's against the wall now. Done all that I could do. I prayed every prayer, went to every service like I know how. Just a ship without a sail. I'm lost without. Right from my left now, but my mama's crying cause my daddy's dying. He got pains all in his chest now. My daughter's having these nightmares. I might be wrong, but I'm right here, yeah. I'm trying to hold on when my hands hurt or the ropes out. Cause when life fights, it don't fight fair. So I'm leaning all on these ropes now. And I got hope, but it's slow now. So I'm leaning all on these quotes now. Like never leave me, won't forsake me. If you don't help me, I don't make it.
Everybody lift your voice and say, oh, you are, you are Even if you think you can't sing, he loves the way it sounds. Lord, lift those hands and say, one more time all over this room tonight. You are. Your weather forecast tonight, mostly clear, uh, low of 30 degrees. Thursday, mostly clear skies, high of 47 with a low of 35. And then Friday, chance of rain and snow, high of 42 degrees with a low of 26. And then Saturday, snow, high of 25 with a low of 17. And that's your two day and a half forecast. Amen, amen, amen. Listen, uh, just to make you aware of third Sunday hour of power with the word will be this third Sunday hour of power with the word coming up at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time and uh, it brought to you by the Tim A. Radio Broadcast and the Circle of Love Prayer Partners Amen Evangelist Linda Ellis up there and our guest speaker will be Apostle James Talley Jr. A, uh, a senior Amen 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 uh, uh, so we're going to be uh, getting a uh, a flyer up on Facebook to let you know about that. Those are my Facebook friends or my Facebook friends of friends. We're gonna be uh, we're gonna be putting that up. So we last and then we got um, we have the Circle of Love Prayer Partners uh, revival coming up soon. Now, uh, Evangelist Linda Ellis and I just met on last year. Uh, uh, it's one year from this month. Amen. So uh, we did the first time. First we met. I broadcast the entire week of uh, of uh, revival services on that week. And let me tell you, uh, we had over 200 people to listen in for that for that week. So that that was the first time. So we looking we looking for a double time, a double amount of people to tune in on the broadcast. Uh, um, Amen. Amen. So, you know, that was just the TMA radio show because I was able to see how many people throughout the week to tune in. So that was just on here. And I never don't even tell you how many on that prayer line that tuned in. Uh, I don't think she got those numbers. Uh, but, you know, so many people tuned in, man. And I, that's a blessing. So we gon uh, we want them to be in. We have some great speakers coming up uh, uh, this week. 
I mean, not this week. I'm sorry, but when I do I put that announcement out there, should be coming up in a few weeks. I'm going to have that announcement ready for you, the, the times we're going to be on and the week we're going to be on and who the uh, speakers are because I'm working on the flyers uh, tonight. So that's coming up. Then uh, we are having a... Uh, uh, he, the Healing Word Ministries is having our um, revival, New Year revival coming up in uh, February. It has been changed from the second week. We was looking at the second week, so we're going to do it on February the 15th, 16th, 17th, and 18th. Amen. So the 15th, the 16th, 17th, and 18th at 7.30 p.m. So I want you to stay tuned for that. So uh, this is what we got going. And we're just thanking and praise God for the, re the revival that's coming up. And we're gonna, as we, I continue to work on it, I'm going to continue to share more information with you. Uh, we are starting now because there ain't no need to start with, in February. Amen. We started at the beginning of February on it. And uh, so you're going to hear all month and all of the uh, first part of uh, the month. Um, about this, amen. So we want you to know that that's that's no other b better place that we could be in fellowshipping with one another, amen. We and you know we all can use uh uh, uh more and more because I tell you that wash night service gave me some uh, extra power, gave it supercharged me. I'm ready, <laughs> amen, amen. So we just got uh, uh those and also worship service will be uh if the weather permits uh healing word ministries at eleven o'clock. And, and everyone is invited out, uh, amen. And we are um, praying that, listen, that, listen, brothers and sisters, if you, you guys are in this Franklin County area and you know uh, there's a brothers and sisters that just want to praise God with sing, uh, praise and worship, they they have their own uh, uh, keyboard, drums, you know, let, have them contact me. You know, we, you know, you know, let us be a, a, a network that you hear what I, I'm asking, then go out and just text somebody. You know, I might not know them, you might know them. Say, look. This pastor has a radio show. He said that he needed someone to do praise and worship. Uh, and let them contact me, and, and we can get the times that they're available. Because if they if they're on the same mission I'm on, I, I do a lot of stuff. Uh, f you know, f for a lot of people, and I, cause I like to do it. Yeah, amen. Ain't got no, you know, ask me. If, you know, if I can do it, I, I'm gonna do it. Amen. Amen. Somebody. So again, uh, Healing Word Ministries, uh, worship service, eleven o'clock on this Sunday, and um. If I think I, I think I covered all the announcements for tonight. If I have anything else extra, so we got the revival on the radio and the uh, Circle of Love Prayer Partners in January. We have the we have Healing Word Ministry uh, New Year uh, revival in February, and so you got some stuff you can you can go to. It's all about your desire, your thirst. You got to be thirsty for this stuff. Amen. You got to be thirsty. When I was at the church at Winston uh, Salem, man, we go in there at uh, what nine forty five, you know, and um, we had Sunday school, but it was a little different to Sunday school, the traditional uh, church Sunday school. You know, everybody, you know, pretty much the young people was uh, um, uh, uh, all into a certain age. That, that, that's the only groups that were really, really separated was the young people. You know, uh, to, up until a certain age. So you might have elementary school all in one one group. And then you had middle school and high school all in one group. Yeah, that's how you know they worked it out. And then every person from uh, uh, the young people, from like the the, uh, the 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 young adults, the 18, 19, 20, 20, you know, 21 on up, was all in the congregation. And and that's how we did the Sunday school there. And so uh, 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 Sunday school, then you had church service. And then my, a lot of times, my, my old pastor at the church, did he he didn't start preaching till one o'clock. Cause we got in that praise and worship, man. We, you know, we, everybody, you know, just going through, getting the spirit in, man, singing and praising God, and, and then, and then he come at one o'clock, then two o'clock, you know, maybe about two thirty, you still there, and at, uh, 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 then you got to turn around, come back, go back at five. Man, hey, look, I ain't had no problem with it. I ain't had no problem with it because I enjoyed it. Hey, Amen. Cause I enjoyed it. When you, when you enjoy it, you don't mind going. It's on, it, you know, it, it, it don't mind it. But, but look, if you can't go, or if you, you say, you know, I ain't going, then just keep it to yourself. Don't be, remember, that, don't be no negative seed this year. Amen. Say, well, look, I can't go, but they, they got a, uh, they got stuff going over here. They got stuff on the radio over here, on, on this prayer line over here. You know, I, I, I got to work, but look, you might like it. Tune in. This is the information. You see, this is how it works. 
You know, don't be scared. If you can't come, then invite somebody else. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. <laughs> amen. Amen. All right. I think that's all the announcements tonight. We God bless each and every one of you. We, as always, we're going to try to make it here from work on tomorrow uh, in time. I think I might because my my uh, my normal my normal late appointment is is off tomorrow, so he could come in in uh, uh, early appointment. So now I ain't gotta stay as late because uh, he's a faithful client. He is a faithful client, and I, and I thank God for all my clients. But I just I just really praise God for those clients that continue to sow into your business. I'm I mean I'm thankful for everybody because it, you know they don't have to do it but but it just got i just got to say thank you extra little something extra to the ones that i mean year after year after year week after week and it better come by every week every week he come thank god for that you know and, and some people come every other week uh, some people on every two weeks you know but they faithful too you know, so I, I'm thanking God for all the, uh, you know, we might have some walk-ins. I thank God for the walk-in. But, uh, uh, you know, they you know, might, you might see them one month and then like eight months, you might not see them, you might see them again. But those that come, either they come every week, they come every other week or every two weeks or whatever. Man, I, I just, I'm just humble. Yeah, I'm just humble. Amen. I'm just humble. Hallelujah. You know, so I just thank, I thank, I thank God for them. Because without them, I, I you know. I have to pay, take care of my family. You know, a lot of people, we are entrepreneurs. And, and uh, you know, and, and, want, and entrepreneurs, if we want in business, I mean, you keep Walmart in business. We keep food line in business. Hey, man. Ain't nobody growing their own vegetables no more. <laughs> we go in there. Or you might go to a fresh market somewhere on the street and get your fresh vegetables. But 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 you giving, you 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 paying somebody. Hey, man. So, so I just thank God for, uh, you know, being, uh, being an entrepreneur and, and you know, um, I just got to keep. I'm keep. I'm keep striving for more, and ain't nothing wrong with that because I. I, I ain't, I'm not looking at it as uh, uh, I think I'm better than somebody. I'm just uh, uh, seeking more. Amen. Seeking something more. Amen. Because like I told people, I tell people all the time. This is I'm, I'm going to go, and I don't want to give you no long lecture, <laughs> but I tell people all the time. You know, you got you got these. You got our children. They selling stuff for the school, or they coming in for the boys and girls club, and, and they want the, you want to help them. But 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 what you you know you want to help them. But if nobody patronizing your business, and how you gonna keep your business light on if you you ain't getting nobody coming in patronize you, no customers, but and you give everybody your stuff, how you gonna stay in business? How you gonna how you gonna take care of your family? So that, that's what I'm saying. It takes customers to come to a point where now I can go out here and, and, and give in multiple things. You see, it's all that's how I mean that's how it's designed to work if you're a business owner. Come on, that's not let's just not be so 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 crazy. Like we don't have no sense. The 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 cost, the consumer come in for the product and service. Now he coming to an establishment now. The community look at that business when they when they putting on events in the community. You see, uh, 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 in other words, I'm gonna give you a prime example. My 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 clientele, if it get to a point where it overflow, now I can sell fifty or a hundred into these uh, uh children or, or these projects that they doing. Whether they doing a they might be doing a summer thing at the at the uh, at the park. Oh, matter of fact. You see, our children, we don't have hardly nothing to do. If y'all patronizing, we start organizing stuff, I could take 50, 100, whatever God give me on my heart to give. Because if I can give 50, or a matter of fact, our, barber sh our whole barbershop at a, at, a, at, a, at a whole, say, look, we'll do 100. And then you go to the next salon, they say, you know, all our girls, we can do 100 too. Look, you got $200 right there. You understand how that works because y'all patronize, and now we because now we want to put into the community. But it take all of us to be on board. You know, it, it just can't be one shop. It just got it, it, if all the shops say you know, and you got four and five uh, uh, brothers and sisters working in the shop, each, each one could give ten dollars and say, look, we're gonna put ten dollars, and then in the summertime we're gonna connect with with, with this hairstyle shop, and we're gonna ha we're gonna connect with this barber shop, we're gonna connect with this suit, this uh this brother selling suits and and, and CDs and ties and stuff. We all can connect. You know, we ain't got to worry about the chamber of commerce. We can have our own chambers of commerce. We can have our own network. 
We over there worrying about what the chamber company do. And like I just told you, I just gave you a prime example. Uh, 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 my establishment and another establishment say, you know what? All year we're gonna come up and then July come on. Uh, we gonna we gonna we gonna donate a hundred dollars. They gonna donate a hundred dollars. You got two hundred dollars. You can you can put two hundred dollars worth of groceries. Buy two hundred dollars worth of hot dogs and hamburgers. You understand? You see? And then you go into uh, uh, two or three more uh, 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 businesses. And then they and they, they can co commit. But but it takes uh, uh, the consumer to come in and patronize us. You know, you know, and I, and I, because, uh, you know, I, I sometimes, you know, I'm going to tell you what I do. We got people in the community, they sell them plates and they come out on the weekend and sell them plates. I support. Now, if it's good, I'm going to support you. Now, they, they, your, your stuff tore all pieces. Now, no, don't thank me. I'm, I'll get you one time. But but you don't fry fish and that fish is like eating potato chips. I, I ain't going to, don't ask me to buy another plate. I ain't going to do it. And, oh, matter of fact, when you call, say, no, I don't need anything, I, I don't need anything today. <laughs> so don't be frying your fish hard, hard as a potato chip. But anyway, anyway, uh, but but going back, you know, that that's how it works. You know, that's how it works. And, and, but we got to form a, a committee for these young people. And, and, and every uh, black-owned business say, you know what, we want to be uh, on the board. You understand? We want to have a, a part of, 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 of the board. Uh, uh, and, 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 and by us doing so, uh, we just want to come to the meetings and we just want to be able to talk about what we're going to do for our children. And, 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 and every business going to commit uh, all year uh, that hundred dollars. And you got 10 businesses committing uh, all year, 365 days. They got all year from January all the way down to, to, the, to, to uh, July. And, and now... Everybody, those ten businesses got a hundred dollars, and now you got a thousand dollars to 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 do a cookout in the community for our young kids. Y'all, y'all see that? See that's uh, you know these are about numbers and thinking about stuff. Y'all got to have some thinking. In the same idea I brought years ago, I'm probably talk, about, talking about maybe about about six, seven years ago to the church. If we start doing stuff as a church body, you know, you know, uh, uh, we need to fellowship with each other. We don't just go to go there on Sunday and then and, and go to choir rehearsal and go to Bible study, go to prayer meet. Uh, uh, we want to be able to connect. We ought to be able to go out to eat. We ought to be able to go bowling. We ought to be able to do some stuff. You know, we we don't came from the world. We don't came from the disco, the the, the parties and and the club. Now let us do some some good clean Christian fun. We all can say, you know what? We're gonna put some money together and and, and, and we're gonna connect with this ministry. And we're gonna connect with that ministry and all of us. If we're gonna rent charter buses or whatever, and we're gonna all go to a hotel and we're just gonna have a good time. We're gonna rent out the ballroom and we're just gonna have an amazing good time. We're gonna stay for about three, four days. Amen. At, at, at a beach somewhere and don't lay our uh, uh, let our hair out. <laughs> Now, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Amen. That's that's all. It's, 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 you know, we got to do something else. We got to do some other stuff, too. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. All right. That's my time tonight. God bless each and every one of you. I thank you for tuning in tonight. Uh, play this last song, and we're out of here tomorrow. We pray to be on by 7 o'clock. So tune in. Tell somebody to turn up, and we're ready, to go, we're ready for a word tomorrow. So I love you again with the love of the Lord. Keep all the announcements in hand. I got to start working on this flyer. Take me a little bit of time, so I got a lot to do. I mean, I'm still busy. All right, but I love you guys. Thank you for listening. Tell somebody we're here every week, uh, Sunday through Thursday. God bless you.
you will speak.